Lucky You is an adaptation of a novel by Carl Hyacin, the East Coast American writer of thrillers and social satires. The adaptation, the novel, is about two people who win the Florida lottery. They're very, very angry that they haven't won the whole lottery, that half of it has gone to somebody else. So they go and steal the ticket. The thing that principally interested me about Hyacinth from the point of view of adaptation of theatre is that his characters are magnificent. They're Dickensian. It, you know, you read a lot of thrillers and you can be very kind of pleased and entertained by the plot. But you're not so often completely taken up by the individuality and madness of the characters themselves. And that's terribly important in a stage show. If you look carefully and if you listen carefully to the adaptation, you get some sense of why these people, these rednecks, are the way they are. But he's keen to show just how crazy this kind of, these kind of people can be. But Hyacinth is kind of going, hey, look at the result. There are these two mad people who really, really believe that there is a conspiracy between Wall Street, the United Nations, NATO, their own government, the IRS, immigrants, fags, Muslims, Jews. You know, they're all against the white working man. It, it's, it, it's that kind of matrix-like situation where they think they know what's going on in the world, but nobody else does. Right. Yeah, everyone else has got it wrong, but they know. Hansen says that um, in Florida, there is such madness and chicanery and trickery, and there are so many oddballs that if he actually wrote in his novels what he actually saw in Florida as an investigative journalist, nobody, nobody would believe it. He never thought about this before, but he thought stage was maybe the way to adapt the craziness of his books. The problems of doing a film for Hollywood and all the kind of adjustments and the bowdlerizing you have to do and the taking out of the bad language and the, you know, the simplifications mean that finally his books don't, am don't amount to anything. They'd, but on stage, you can be much crazier and you can do m much madder things, particularly, of course, at the Edinburgh Festival, famous for mad things. Loudon Wainwright uh, described it as funny and scary in equal portions. Humour is terribly important. And th this is quite savage humour. It's quite, you, I mean, some of it takes your breath back. And we're doing it at the Assembly Hall uh, at 2.15, almost every day of the festival. I think.